Next PQ, Mr. Gerald Gam. Question 19, please. Sir, the bus stop name, alphanumeric code and five-digit code are displayed at the bus stop. Since 2018, LTE has fitted all new public buses with the passenger information display system, which displays and announces the name of the upcoming bus stop, including references to nearby landmarks or the road. Other measures to make navigation easier include the installation of tactile ground surface indicators, braille signages for the visually impaired, and murals to assist commuters with dementia. New bus interchanges also have enhanced signages with bigger fonts and brighter lighting for improved readability and better wayfinding. Besides infrastructure enhancements, the Caring SG Commuters Committee has been promoting a more inclusive and caring commuting culture to encourage commuters to assist fellow passengers who may require help with navigation. Mr. Gerald Gam. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. And thank, I thank the SMS for the answer. I understand that the bus stop codes and names are displayed at the bus stop pole and the bus stop information board. However, the font that is used is relatively small and is not easily visible to passengers as they are approaching the bus stop. So it won't give them enough time to be able to press the button before the bus, so to indicate to the bus captain to stop the bus. In fact, the most prominent signage at the bus stop is actually the bus shelter address plate, which is on the, on the top of the bus shelter, because the font can be seen from quite a distance away, about 40 metres away at least, in my estimation. So this will give the, the commuters a bit more time to prepare to stop, to, to press the bell to stop the bus. So my question to the MOS is, can the bus stop name and code be placed on the bus stop bus shelter uh, uh, address plate instead of what is right now on the bus shelter address plate, which is actually not very meaningful to the commuters themselves. Thank you. SMS Chiong Tan. Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, I thank Mr Giam for his suggestion. Uh, certainly, I think we will look at different ways to improve the visibility and how the information is being displayed. Uh, I just want to clarify that you know, today, as he acknowledged, uh, the information, the name, the alphanumeric code, and the five-digit code, they are all displayed at the bus stops. And depending on, um, from your perspective as a commuter, uh, different people would actually require the information in different ways and use it differently to help with their navigation. Uh, one analogy that I could give uh, is this. It's a little bit like you know, our postal code. Uh, so if we refer to a particular block, let's say in my area, block 130A, 130A, Lorong 1, Topayo, it is part of Topayo Crest, uh, but it also has a six-digit postal code, which is 311130. So I think both sets of information are useful and they are used for different purposes. 